Thank you for joining Yezencom channel. In the previous video, we talked about the total hardness and how to measure it. In this video, we will talk about how to measure the calcium hardness and the magnesium hardness as well. So if you're ready, let's start up. To start up the calcium test, you will need a purit. You will need an EDTA solution, 0.1 normal. You will need an alkali solution, potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. This is to rise up the pH from 12 to 13 as a condition for this test. You will need hydroxynephthol blue diasodium or a calcium indicator. You will need a water sample. You will need a conical flask and last you will need a pH meter. Take a noun volume of water sample and add an alkali solution. Rise up the pH up to 12 to 13. Check out the pH of your sample using a pH meter. Add a calcium indicator to your sample. The sample will turn to red. Start the titration with the EDTA immediately and notice the color change to the endpoint which is blue. Calcium hardness is equal to EDTA titrant volumes times the normality of EDTA times the molecular weight of calcium divided by the sample volume. You already know how to calculate the total hardness and you just learned how to calculate the calcium hardness. So let's find out what is the magnesium hardness. Magnesium hardness is equal to the EDTA titrant volume of a total hardness minus the EDTA titrant volume of a calcium hardness times the normality of EDTA times the molecular weight of the magnesium divided by the sample volume. We reached to the end of today's lesson. I hope it was useful for you guys. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you think this video was useful. Try to share it with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you next time.